guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, uh, the hardest fight in the game currently is coming to Global Dokkan today. Um, there are six new Red Zone stages that are going to be added in. Um, there is Bojack, Super Janemba, and Broly. And then there is Super 17, the Shadow Dragons, and then Omega Shenron. Uh, I want to cover just, like, strategies, units that are good to use uh, for this Broly fight. This is the toughest fight in the game. Um, I've pulled up a number of my runs. If you guys are not aware, um, I've been doing sort of like a, I guess, like a challenge series uh, where I've no-itemed um, all of the red zone with, like, multiple teams, right? So, like, right here, th this first one. Um, this is me using the LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta team to no item uh, beat Broly, right? And this is the team that I utilize right here. Um, so there's a couple, couple things we can go over. We'll go over what Broly can do. Um, there's this really useful, well, there's two threads um, by Luka Dokkan right here that gives you all of the boss's stats and stuff like that. So you can kind of like realize exactly how much defense you need and stuff like that. So here is Broly, right? So Broly is very tough. The first two phases are kind of a warm-up, right? Um, in the first phase, you can stun and seal him, right? So it's like, you know, some characters say uh, Goku and Gohan, right? You know, you could use Goku and Gohan to potentially stun Broly at the start of the fight. Um, like when I you no-itemed know, it with the Goku and Gohan team right here, as you guys can see, we had the Goku and Gohans who could stun, AGL Kid Gohan could stun, Tech God Goku could seal, and then we set a bunch of stackers alongside that, right? The thing with the Broly fight that makes it so difficult, and so much more difficult than a lot of the other fights, too, uh, is really not the first two phases. I, I I want to say it's not the last phase, but the last phase, he truly is a nightmare, right? But this is what's really tough, is the third phase, the AoE phase. Because in this phase, Broly does an AoE, right? Now, we fought a powerful boss that does an AoE super attack before. Um, one of the gods of destruction, right? And the god event did that. But the thing is, uh, he was STR. So you could use, like, AGL UI Goku to dodge it. And even if he got hit, you would live, right? Dodging was a great strategy to take down um, that god of destruction. But what makes Broly the toughest fight in the game, one of the biggest things, is the fact that you cannot dodge. Every phase, Broly cancels dodging. My theory for why they did this is not to make it the hardest fight in the game, but it's to get Tech Khalifa out of here. Because if you could dodge, then you could run Tech God Goku and Tech Khalifa, two units who Broly basically would not be able to injure. And I think they wanted to avoid that, right? Um, cause if you guys notice on several of these teams here, right here is me using the LR gods team. There's God Goku, right? Um, again, Goku and Gohan team. There's God Goku, right? Uh, the Vegeta and Trunks team. There's God Goku, right? Uh, then we take a look at the Resurrection F Blues team. There's God Goku. God Goku is probably the most important character you could bring for this fight, Right? Like, if you're, like, gonna really argue in favor of this character, the fact that he is damn near a must-run in the hardest fight in the game is certainly um, a big advantage to this guy and how impressive he can be, right? Because you get to this AoE phase, and Broly hits you for 840,000. If Broly decides to super attack slot 1 immediately, you pretty much can't live it with most teams. Most teams can't tank this super attack from Broly, right? Um, the AGL Cell team what is probably the most suited to being able to survive it. If we take a look at the build I use here, both AGL Cells easily could live because by the time you get there, you're Perfect Cell, and Perfect Cell is a god, right? He, 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 I think he was taking about 200k. Actually, let me... For this run, let's just go ahead and jump till we get to the AoE phase. And let me see how I actually cleared this right here. So I think right about here, we should be getting to the AoE phase. Let me see here. Yeah, okay, perfect. So Broly is, is a real problem. But the thing about his third phase, his AoE phase right here, and then his final phase, uh, AGL Broly, both of these phases, they do key blast super attacks. So like right here, right? We have 19 and 20 who could absorb Broly's AoE, and then obviously AGL Super 17 can tank it 
And I believe EGL Cell, does he super right here? Okay, let's see how much damage EGL Cell takes. So they absorb it, right? Boom, thank you. And he takes about 185, is not bad at all, right? So the EGL Cell team is more suited to be able to survive this um, than most other teams in the game, right? Because you have the tech androids who could do this in two ways. You could either use the Ghost Usher, Active Skill Ghost Usher, or they could just nullify it. Um, we went over how AGL Cell can survive. And then in 16, the Super Strike character is capable of tanking in here. As long as your entire rotation is Android Sass Cell Saga, um, he has a 50% chance to guard, right? So if we go back and take a look, I was very uh, particular with my team. I actually, oh, I got to fix the timestamp on this, huh? Look at me. I'm, I'm a naughty boy here. My timestamp is uh, not correct. Oh, no, no, I'm going to have trouble. No. Oh, okay, we got it. Um, I made sure to sort of have have my lineup tight. I only have one character not in the Android Sass Cell Saga, and I made sure that they were on rotation opposite um, into Android 16, right? Which worked out really well. Um, so... What you want to do when beating this Broly fight is you really have to account for this. Because you could eat... Remember, you have one item, right? One item. You could go into this fight saying, I'm not going to worry about the AoE phase, and I'll bring a double Whis. You get to the AoE portion, you pop a double Whis, you should be able to take Broly down. If you have any top tier characters at all, right? Like, if you're going to run the LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta team, you know, you got some of these beasts on here. Obviously, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is not easy aid yet on Global. He should be easy aid next week. But if you've got a bunch of these beasts, you should be able to finish off AoE Broly quickly. The problem if you do that strat, though, is you're then left against this god of destruction right here. This guy supers you for 1.2 million damage. If you are a super class unit type neutral, you need like 1.3 million defense to tank this guy. So, like, this is why a lot of characters will have defensive levels, and I'm just really not too impressed. It's like, oh, the unit is so good, they have 500k defense. It's like, yeah, awesome. So they're only going to take 800k damage from Broly, right? Like, yeah, cool, dude, amazing. So you have to have very specific setups. Um... I think when it comes to the Broly fight, you want to build around two typings. AGL to help you potentially survive against his AoE phase. And then, of course, tech, I think, is more important. Because if you have a bunch of very powerful tech characters, such as the LR Gods, you'll be able to eat these super attacks from this guy. Because the thing about this Broly, not only does he do 1.2 million damage super attacks, he often does two per turn. It is disgusting. This guy supers so much and then he has 50 million hp on top of it he is just a real nightmare this agl broly is so you definitely do need um you know so, some good luck here so if we take a look at a lot of the setups right so like here's me using lr super saiyan 4 gogeta's team i use the gods we use tech gogeta and then we use kaelin khalifa do not sleep on everyone will tell you kaelin khalifa sucks they're so bad they're so horrible ha 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 they are really bad at the start of fights. They're a dreadfully terrible Super Battle Road unit. But when it comes to Red Zone, if you are able to correctly like hide them, play around with them at the start of the fight, they can dominate. Kefla destroys Broly, right? Uh, she does very good, and you get the heal. The thing about characters like 3rd Year Anniversary Vegito, Tech Kefla, Physical Gogeta, I mean, STR Vegito... These, like, mid-battle heals are incredibly valuable against a boss like Broly, um, who, you know, he had. It's so difficult to survive against him at the end of these fights that it's like, you, you know, you really are going to want items. Um, and it's like, you know, you've only got the one item slot. So, you know, if you're going to bring a Whis, you have no way to heal besides support memory and character's abilities. Um, all right, so this is the God's Run right here. Again, notice some very similar options. Tech Gogeta, I have so many issues with the way this unit is designed, but the Scouter can really help, right? Especially against AGL Broly, where he's often double supering, right? So, and you can know how to align your characters to be able to tank against him. Plus, remember, Broly's hardest phase is AGL, so you want to load up on tech characters. Uh, when the game, like, th this was my, I believe this right here is my very first no item run against Broly, um, and it's like, you could see, like, like, you know, the gods was, was, was the team I utilize here. Okay, so this is the Vegeta and Trunks no item run. I mean, I guess I probably shouldn't even really 
talk about this one too much because this unit's not coming out to global for another five months or something like that. But all of these characters right here are all on global, right? Uh, Tech Ultimate Gohan is a god. The Tech Androids. This The Tech Androids inclusion on this team might seem weird to people, but the Tech Androids really are just that good. Capable of dominating some of the hardest fights in the game, the hardest red zone fights in the game. So definitely do not sleep on how good the Androids can be. We know how good Tech Ultimate Gohan is. Goku and Gohan. This character destroys AGL Broly. You can... It, the turn they get their active skill off, they could take basically half of Broly's health out in one turn, right? Their active skill, and then, you know, they'll probably guarantee double super. If you get a third super in, too, while they're guaranteed critting, the damage they'll do is just going to be obscene, right? They can absolutely obliterate Broly with their active skill. Goku and Gohan is a very powerful unit um, to use uh, in this stage against Broly. Um, here was me using it with the Ginyu Force team. Now, I guess LR Golden Frieza obviously does not exist yet on Global. E either does EZA Tech LR Ginyu Force. But you can easily win this. I mean, if you're going to use items, um, Birder and Jace can help you, right? Uh, obviously, you can't dodge with them. Physical LR Ginyu is good enough to, to make it as well. Um, and then, of course, the thing with the Ginyu team that makes it so easy to beat a lot of these stages is you have Ginyu's heal, right? Ginyu's heal plus his scouter um, is just such a, a powerful combo. So that was how I got it done with the Ginyu Force team. The Resurrection F Blues, um, you know, I, I guess, you know, these guys are probably not going to come out on Global till maybe October. I mean, well, who knows? Maybe that that's when Superhero is going to drop, though. Um, but, you know, a lot of these characters are available on Global. This Evolution Blue Vegeta can be very helpful. He'll probably take a lot of damage from AoE Broly, but, I mean, if he's able to super attack before Broly's AoEs, you know, you're going to be looking pretty good right there. Um, the Goku and Gohan team, we went over kind of, again, a lot of the obvious setups. And then, of course, there is the Cell team as well. So, of the 200% teams, these are the teams I use to no item Broly. Um, I have not actually attempted it, really, with Raditz's team or Majin Vegeta's team. I probably should start doing it. I could definitely do it with the Majin Vegeta team now, I think, because of um, Vegeta and Trunks. Their presence now makes Majin Vegeta just 500,000 times better. So I, I should work on that. Do the whole no item uh, challenge of the red zone. Because remember, the thing about these red zone stages, they're designed in such a manner to do battle with 200% leader skills. Right now, 200% leader skills are not really able to be challenged by anything except for the red zone, right? So it's like you come in here, you bring your 200% characters and you destroy it. Um, again, these are all Broly stats. Remember, you can't dodge. Uh, Broly has his powerful AoE, so you want to be using a lot of powerful AGL characters against him. Uh, you know, characters like AGL UI Goku, you probably don't want to bring, right? Because UI Goku can't dodge, thus he can't get the extra defense, and he's just going to get crushed in the event. Um, Broly in the final phase is doing 400k, right? So... As a super class unit, you need like 500k defense to tank him or some shit like that, like 450 plus. So it's like you you need to be very tanky to, to eat hits um, from these tough bosses. I mean, these are currently the toughest bosses in the game, right? It, people might not like it, but when a new character, Dokkan Fest Pan, LR Fusion Zamasu, Int Majin Vegeta, you know, these types of characters come out. I'm grading them by their performance in this fight, in the fight against Omega, in the fight against Bojack. Those are the truly difficult fights that you need to prepare for, right? Um, so, you know, this. hopefully this uh, video should have given you guys a good idea of some setups for how you want to build your team, right? Um, the third year anniversary of Vegito does come out with these stages, I believe, so you guys can grind him up and then use him in here. You know, again, that, that heal will be very helpful. And again, the EZA Super Saiyan 4s, Goku and Vegeta, uh, they come out next week. So here's the different setups we used. Uh, let me know what you guys think about uh, Broly. Um, again, I would say the definitely, well, yeah, definitely the toughest fight in the game. I, there's no question about that. Him canceling dodge, having an AoE, and then a double super phase. He, he could, the amount of times he supered slot one before I could attack, and then supered slot three. Uh, most, 99% of teams and situations, that is just unsurvivable. This guy supering in slot one and supering in slot three, a lot of times you just, you just can't do it, right? Um, and this fight right here is definitely where the three uh, 
runs per day will become very frustrating when he's just able to obliterate you, right? So, let me know what you guys think of the Broly fight. Um, hopefully, you know, some of these teams uh, can help you guys sort of like, you know, kind of create your own spin um, and dominate a red zone Broly. So, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.